Ever since the release of the new Vondel Resurgence map, I have been playing Solos like an absolute mad lad, and I have been loving every second of it. Solos is easily my new favorite way to play, as I'm typically more of a squad person, even though I play with randoms. This has been so much more enjoyable with a lot of 1v1 gunfights, which really do allow the shotguns to shine, especially those pump actions. If you haven't tried playing Solos for them, I highly encourage it. But because this is somewhat new territory for me, I wanted to show you guys who haven't maybe tried it, or who do play Solos anyway, my three favorite shotgun builds to use for this game mode. They have been super amazing, whether it's the time to kill that's unbeatable, whether it's the movement speed, these things are a blast and they are incredibly deadly and they will even take care of that pesky ISO if you're good enough. So if you want to jump to a specific class, check out the timestamps below. And of course, I am going to show the tunings, but only the tuning direction. I think everybody knows how to tune and min-max the guns enough now. I'm just going to show you the general direction and you guys can kind of tune them for yourselves. I think we're all at that spot where, well, we either tune or we don't and we know how to tune if we do. So I'm not going to go super in depth with those but without further ado let's just go ahead and hop into the first one which is the bryson 890 speed build now i don't need to introduce this gun any more than i already have because this gun is amazing and i've talked about it many times on this channel it has one of the fastest i think if not the fastest tactical sprint speed in the game and its movement speed is just unparalleled in a lot of ways great strafe speed great base movement speed everything about this build is just speedy demon and it's amazing i've seen bear pig use it i've seen opx2 the fellow monkey use it this thing is a blast and if you haven't checked it out i really encourage you to do and the reason why it shines so much in solos is because obviously you only have one person to deal with the majority of the time but this is sort of a good balance overall of damage range mobility and it has five shells it's a five shell mag which is more than enough to deal with one person and on occasion you'll deal with a second person but the great thing is that that reload speed especially with the fast hands perk this thing reloads pretty damn quick and it's easily one of my new favorite ways to play solos if i'm just going for all out fun this thing is a blast and of course you can use dragon's breath if you want to swap that out for the bryson choke but i recommend just using buckshot as it's a little more consistent from what i can tell and also the bryson choke is a pretty awesome attachment to have on this thing so that's what be so that would be my way to go but of course dragon's breath is the way to go other than that or you can rock a laser too like the point g3p if you want a little bit better hip fire another build that really needs no introduction is the lockwood 300 dragon's breath build i've talked about this one many times before and in solos it will easily shine among the others this one is just so devastating it is an absolute monster to behold and you might be thinking why is it so good well a lot of people don't realize yes it's only two shots that's why it's so good for solos but the reason it's so good is because it's time to kill it because of its two shots and the fire rate it has your time to kill is about 350 milliseconds which is basically almost half of what the iso is and many people consider that to be broken up close and it is to be fair it's really easy to use but this thing it boasts such a crazy time to kill with those two shots it can absolutely destroy any ISO you come up against as long as you're hitting your shots well and thankfully this thing is pretty consistent in its max damage range outside of that you're going to get a two shot with this particular build out to about that nine and a half meter mark which is absolutely no joke and it's the best two shot we have in the game thus far among all the shotguns in total without slugs of course so this build is focused primarily on range the Matuzek 812 and the GW Max 99 they're going to give you the most range you can possibly get with that great two shot potential of course Dragon's Breath is easily the way to go don't use this gun without dragon's breath then of course the high stock mod and the point g3p laser again this build do not screw around with this build it is going to just mess people's days up and it is something that if you haven't used i'd be surprised if you're watching my content you shouldn't be already using it but it's just such a fun gun to use and it's just so satisfying to have these people with that that new like silver surfer looking skin where they kind of change colors into black and silver or something and then you have this double barrel that just kind of goes boop boop and they're just kind of dead it's hilarious it's a lot of fun i encourage you guys to try it in solos if you haven't already hell i'll use this thing in quads if i have to it's just that fun and that good and for my last pick this is going to be the kv broadside with slugs i am not using buckshot slugs is my favorite way to go and it just feels so good and if you don't know why slugs are so good we'll go over that in a second but here is the particular build we are using as you can see i've kind of altered it a little bit and we're not using a 12 round mag because we are in solos eight is totally manageable for this kind of gun now i am using the gun d20 barrel this is something new i'm not typically someone to use a barrel with slugs but this barrel gives you about 40 percent range which is just amazing for range and it does help with your aim down sights bloom as well now if you notice usually i run the bryson choke but they basically have it to where slugs no 
no matter what, have some kind of spread. And there's a cap onto how much you can help the spread. So essentially, this barrel is going to help as much as the Bryson choke, and it's going to take the aim down sights bloom way down and basically hit it to where it's going to have that inherent spread and you can't help it anymore. So this is why I go with this one. And because of the crazy range it gives you, it's a great barrel to use. I'm also using the 12 gauge explosive ammo. Now, this is something I also don't normally use, but it has better range than the normal traditional slugs. And since this one I'm playing very up close with, you don't really need to worry about it being too crazy and go off the wall. Yes, it's a little bit more inconsistent than slugs, but I've had a pretty good time using it because again, we're being really close here. We're not trying to push the ranges. So this ammo type is totally okay to use, I think, for up close engagements. And of course, I'm using the seven milliwatt canted laser because the recoil on this thing is ridiculous and I hate the iron sights. I would much rather use this canted laser and shoot from the hip. If you haven't tried it with this laser, again, I highly encourage you guys to do it because it is going to change your game. And really the thing that's so crazy about slugs, if you don't notice, is if you look at sim.gg, you can see that the whole time to kill, if you compare it with the ISO, you can see that it is beating the ISO pretty much all the way out until about 30 meters, as long as you're hitting chest shots. Now, you don't want to be hitting stomach shots with this. It's a little more unforgiving. But as long as you're hitting chest and up, you are going to destroy people. And if you hit two headshots in a row, your time to kill up close can be 238 milliseconds. It is kind of absurd. But the likelihood of you getting that two shot is not probable. It's just that, you know, it's possible. So go for those chest shots and those headshots, and you'll be amazed how fast this thing can kill. And with that, that is just about going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these three builds these are my favorites to run there's other ones that i could always include in this but i wanted to keep it kind of shorter basically i wanted to have only three my top three and these are the ones that i would pick that are just so good and you have to give them a try in solos this could even work in trios and quads but they're going to take a lot more skill and effort so with that being said guys let me know down below in the comments what do you think of these builds is there any other solo shock and build i should check out and with all that being said i will see you in the next video Resurgence.